I am international master mainly, but known as wonderful time in chess.com. So here am I in my rapid and my speedrun account basic plan. You know, true to this name, I will try to show you some basic plan in the chess game. I will try to give you some ideas on how to get better on chess. And at the same time, I will try my best to explain my thinking process and asking you some questions along the game. Sure. So the I think the format will be like I will play a 10 minutes game with my people. I'm not know I think randomly though I will try to invite randomly and then you know I will try and play them and see how things can be along the game. Sure. No, this is like I think a lesson time. So now there's like no more time for some gambling. Now it's time for learning. Yes. I mean time for me to give you guys some of the I can say you know <coughs> ideas or simply some recommendations to get better at this wonderful wonderful spot. So if you guys ready, let's be starting and let's invite go. Ooh, we got such a strong guys here. Oven D sixty four from Armenia, who is nineteen ninety nine. Well, let's go this first. Netflix. I want to see what he gonna do here. C four. Okay. So now, guys, what do you want me to play? I mean, I can play E6 and I will make it to the Nimzo Indian. I can play C6 here and make it to the Slav. Benoni here as well, or King's Indian stuff. <coughs> what to do now? I want to play something like some Nimzo Indian stuff, actually. I think Nimzo Indian should be what I want to do. I mean, Benoni actually is fine. I think I will spend a day to talk about some Benko stuff. I mean, to be honest, I'm not really a big fan of the Bernie variation for black. I don't know why, but I'm not. That's why I'm gonna play E6. <coughs> Knife 3. <coughs> he wants to play, okay, so this is not the. It is not the Nimzo. Now we have two chances. I get three things to play. First is the Bogo Indian. Should be four. Second is like b6 when we go for the queen's Indian, and third d5 and we up for the normal queen's can be decline. I mean Nimzo is like the thing with knife six actually I guess. You know I can do fairly plenty of thing here. B6 is fine though. Okay yeah I think I wouldn't go for the bogo maybe. I mean it depends. If he go for this one, it will become Rogozin. But let's see what he play here. Now we got the Bogo Indian variation. Maybe the two. Okay, a good line. I will play a main line here. I'll play a main line here. Castles. A3, great line. Black can do both. Take care, take care. But I will play the main line again. It should be seven. And thank you, Sanchez, for the prompt subs. Appreciate it. E4. Okay, guys, I don't know if you want to play the main thing here. And there are two things that Black can try to play here. One thing which is like playing something safe and solid with D6. Which I play myself, I think so. And one variation is something that can be more complex and tricky, which is D5. <coughs> <coughs> E5, 97. This is the main line here, which can be really, really tricky, but at the same time will be really fun to play with. Black. The idea is trying to strike in the center right away with C5. Queen C2, C5. White is a bit slow in development, so now our idea is trying to go for some center attack right away. When you say mainline, it sounds like Ming Li. <laughs> really? 
Okay, I will try my best to adjust my pronunciation. Bishop b3. Now he want to attacking the pawn on h7. You see? I think it should be the best to go h6 to defend a pawn here. A6. I'm going to try to answer the letter after the game. H4. He seems to want to go for some attack. I don't think that should be so dangerous for us. That's why I will keep on developing nice C6. <coughs> yeah, Oven is playing really fast now. Seems to be his good player, I guess. <coughs> but let's move, so we're attacking both these two pawn, right? So I want to see what he wanna do here. Bishop f5. That feels strange though, to be honest. I am not a fan of this move. And I will try to prove this is a wrong move. I will take an opponent d4 first, cd4. And d4 is fine though, but since I think the knight on c6 is doing a good job in the center, I will try to keep that in the game first. <coughs> speedrun account and speedrun game. Ooh, knight g5. You see? This actually is really strong play by him though. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my Jesus. Now this is gonna be so so fun. I agree. Guys, now be ready for the Tactics Festival. <coughs> if I go here now, he can go bishop a7. Can you shit and then go take here? He would open up everything now. Everything. This is a threat now, and this is a threat as well. Basically, this is becoming really, really, really rough. I will try to remind you all of this nice thing later, but now I will <coughs> not be so scary. Let's go. I will accept this fun play by him. Let's see what it can be. He thinks like this. This move here, not only I want to activate my knight, but also, I have something in my mind I will show you later. <coughs> <coughs> okay, sorry guys, back here. Okay guys, now he want to go for this one, right? Now we want to go for mid us. How can we prevent that? With a tempo. I think take the knight will be losing right away. Will be. But I will try to mention that later. How can we try to prevent the mid? On h7, yes, d3. I don't even want to take the knight on g5. Put him here. So now we one right? Now there's no other threats. I think now we can simply take the pawn. I mean the bishop, I mean. Now you can see it, right? There is no longer any threats. And we are two pawns up, right? d3 is a very nice intermediate move. A very nice intermediate move. Queen h5. Wow, you see? Really, really, I can say that. Consistent in trying to meet me, right? But you know, I'm not a guy who will be afraid of ghosts. Knight d4. Don't, uh, don't take the knight. Nothing is going to hammers. Now this is my time to go for my own attack. Knight c2. If we take here, if we take on g5, we take here back and you know, open up the h file, it's not a good idea. Now this is fine though, but I don't want to do that. I mean, I want to get some activity right away. And guys, I want to play a small move here. That's fun. Queen c7. When you can see there's no threats, do that. Just simply don't be scary of course. And guys, boom! I tell you, right? I tell you. The idea is to exploit back his king here. He wants to attack our king, but no, it's us. And now, 
Blood to play and win. Blood to play and win. The game actually is turn. I mean, like really, really fast. Blood to play and win now. <coughs> Nice C2 is fine, but that is slow. D2. Now we get a new queen here, and this is the end for him. <laughs> Jesus, this is the end for him. A very awesome game to be honest. I think I got plenty of thing to explain to you here. Actually, there are a lot of stuff I want to explain about this game, about own kind of like tactics, and you know own kind of stuff that I want to mention. Okay, guys. So now let's try to let's try to talk about the game first. Plenty of things here that I can try and mention in this game. Okay, come to the game here and let's go. You see, right? I mean, it is seem it seems that we got a fairly, fairly boring variation with the Bogo Indian, but then the game becoming really, really fire. <coughs> engine? Uh, okay, fine. I mean, not the first time I was accused of being an engine, so it's fine. Not the first time though. The game should have been boring, but no, it's not. It should be four, right? Maybe D2. Castles. A3. And guys, the main line here actually is it should be two. And could be two and then B6. Should be seven. And then like you know, try and play slowly. D6, maybe D7, and knight four and then F5. This is another variation. <coughs> another variation with black which is very strong indeed very strong indeed yeah i mean like basically Shutter shuttercom has closed my account twice twice and then i told them i mean i told them to open that and thank you man for the 10 bits agree 10 bits and i appreciate that <coughs> so in the game should be 7 e4 you know I still remember I still remember a game I played in the Malaysian chess festival 2018 I think I played this line against Wang Hao against Wang Hao who sadly has confirmed his retirement from chess 3 months ago at that time so he was like I think he is 27, 10, 27, 30. I played D6 this game with him, with black, and then bishop E2, and then E5, I think so. And then some, some D5, E5, I forget. But I think in the middle game, I managed to get a good position. Even more than good, actually. And then one half for a drone. Half for a drone. But you know, in my mind, I mean, I am only a 2400 player. Play with a super GM, and I was like, <laughs> he's weak, he's weak, he 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 is not that strong. I got a good position, so why can I even not go for a win? Why I cannot go for a win? And I trying to beat him. I reject the drone offer, and I keep running him. And yeah, I got rigged at the end though. For my greediness, I think. I mean, simply, <coughs> that's rough. I got a good position against him. Here for me, a drone, and I re reject that. Oh, Jesus. That's bad. I think the highest rated player I have been able to beat, I think, is a GM from Russia who is like 26 30, I think. In the game, I play another variation with d5. This actually is another kind of variation that is playable. e5 is correct. Right here is correct here as well. And now the main line is this, should be 3 <coughs> c5, and h4. This is the main theory here. 
in a game so basically he misplayed opening. <coughs> you know, the idea for this line is that is that if you go here and boom, this one. And we got a great gift, right? We got a great gift. And King here and G5, right? And this is next and okay. I think you can safely resign now. It's not early at all. It's actually over now, to be honest. <coughs> so in the main variation, black must play something like this one, it's here, and then white need to play bishop b1, which is really annoying. Really annoying. This is the main theory here that you must know, to be honest. You must know. If you play this line in the game, so he mess up. I think with the opening stuff, he play queen c2 here. That is pretty sad. <coughs> c5. Sadly for him now, he cannot go for h4. You know, Greek gift only work with the bishop, not the queen. No, it's never work. It's never work. Basically, you cannot get the queen for this, right? You can only give the bishop for the Greek gift. And what about king g6? A good question. Okay, king here, right? But, okay, my friends, it is gonna be that. I think, basically, I think the best way is simply something like h5. h5 here. Right? King here, so knight 3 and g... I mean, my friend, this is gonna be rough. Like, you know, I think the simplest way is like this way. Normally, it is just very, very dangerous to accept the rig of. This is a clear example though, I think. If you cannot calculate properly, it is so so dangerous to accept the rig of. <coughs> yeah, I have been reported I think like twice time at least, like two or three times at least. His, I mean, this account has been banned twice before, but then I talked to Chess.com and they reopened my account. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. So, you know, well, back to the game here. Chris 2 is wrong for the reason I mentioned earlier. C5. You see, right? The idea here is that. The idea here is simply the king on e1 is not really safe and we can try to open up a center right away to exploit that. Take here, take here. We should be 3, a6. Okay, so now we got two ways to defend a pawn, right? First and second. But if we go just this here, it is gonna be dangerous, I agree. So now this one is this one right? And this one for instance like this. And now okay, it is not something we love to see. Right? I don't think we love to see this. So we need to be a bit we need to be a bit careful to make a move. To defend. That's that's the way. That's why I play Essex now. It's hard for him to open up the king side. At the same time, at the same time here, so it will take him so so long time to build a battery here. So I can use this one to defend. Normally, a6 is considered to be a very useful way to play. Very useful way to play. That's all. In the game, h4. Ooh, nice a6. Bishop f5. You know, to be honest, this is a bit I can say wrong stuff. But now he is in some trouble already. We should have five. CD4. Why not? Why not? Nice G5. And now's the thing. Now it's a thing here. You know? If we take on G5, now it's gonna be disastrous. <coughs> You're right? It seems fine. But no. Check. Here. Right? You know this one. 
This file was open, and it is actually dangerous for us. Okay, let's say if you play something like Bishop G5. Now, what can White do now to deliver mid? White to play and win. Let's go. <coughs> Yes, it is. Bishop G8. You know, a very fun way to go for the mid. And sadly, a devastating way. The queen, the rook, bishop, both of them are controlling a 7 now. Nothing you can do to prevent that, right? King here, so this one here. Bishop here, so one here as well. So it's not going to be so well for us. <coughs> right? And now I think this is over. It's over now. You know, I did to go this way and this way. It's so, so dangerous. That's why you always need to be careful. Sure, about taking material. Especially open up H5 like this. You see? So in the game, I simply, I simply don't care about that. And I take the pawn here. Why not Bishop takes? Makes sense. Good question. But not only I don't want to give away my Bishop, but also, you know, this is like I am opening up the, I think, H5 for him. And I don't like that. This actually, I think, will give him, will give him some, I think, kind of play in H5. You know, imagining this one here, right? G5, knife 3. And then, you know, this is not what we want to see, I think. Now suddenly we are in a very dangerous situation. <coughs> so if you can and if you can calculate through all things, please don't try to open up the king side. Since normally it will be, I think, ending up in some trouble at the end. You understand me? So in the game I play 90 e5. Since I see that d3 can be played, I see d3 can be played though, and I can try to block, <coughs> block the queen. Okay, you know, basically I know that Dania is not here right now to go for a speedrun session. I will try to replace him to do the same thing. Hopefully this is gonna be instructive enough, and I can be a good teacher to show you some nice thing about this game. In the game, we should see it. He thinks that's fine, but sadly, d3. A very nice intermediate move. We didn't even take these two pieces. It's that. We go for the, this pawn here, not only block the queen, but also, but also restrict his pieces as well. Queen d1, take the bishops. At the same time, get the rook into the game, right? I don't know, I think he is busy like giving courses in the Shalocha Center, I think. I think he's busy on that. Oh, and thank you for, I misplaced my, okay, thank you for the sending the subs, I mean. That's so nice. That's so, so nice, buddy. Thank you for the sending the subs. I mean, I'm sorry, but I mean, I somehow I cannot pronounce the final words in your username. I'm really sorry. <coughs> Just wanna say thank you for the ten I appreciate that. So now, rook c8. We try to get the rook into the game and try and go for the c5, right? The knight here actually is very useless. Queen h5. You see, right? Basically, he's just so, so stubborn. So stubborn in trying to open up the h-file. But this, indeed, is not going to work. Just don't open up the thing. That's fine, right? It, I mean, it looks to be a pretty dangerous stuff. But no. We simply can just do our thing and ignore the queen and the knight here, and don't open up h5 for him, that's fine. You know, we play here, so this is gonna be really, really 
then dress for us. Just do our thing and ignore the night. 94. Open up the file, get the knight on c6 into the game, right? And go for knight c2 next. When think now actually it's gonna be really dangerous for him. Can you have one? Surprisingly, it's the best move here. Now I think I can play plenty of stuff, but I want to give him a very tricky stuff. Queen c7. This is very tricky, and he indeed missed us. You know? Now the best thing here is I think something about g3 to find a way for his king to get out of this sketch. But no, I think he completely missed my ideas though. One thing I want to, you know, adv advise you is about like when you see your opponent make a move like this. It seems to be quite strange, right? Be careful and trying to see what does opponent want to do. What is he is threatening? If you look closely, so Queen C1 obviously is very, I think, very clear, right? So now, like G3, open up the king. I think should be the best defense. Also, also that is quite rough for him, though. It's quite rough. I think G3 here is the best. And then like here, right? I think I still go with this one, but I think I will play slowly. Like maybe I think knight two winning the knight here, like this, or maybe you know maybe knight c two or queen d seven. You know I can play slowly as well. I think here, plenty of way to go for the win. Why not knight two instead of queen c seven? You know. Once again, an advice. Knight two is nice, but it is so clear, right? So so clear. You know. It can be seen right away that you are going for the bishops. But with queen c7, it is less clear, right? Less clear. It will be easier to make a mistakes. It will be simply, I can say, your opponent, your opponent can miss your threat. Which actually happened in the game. Correct? Knight 2 is fine. But this one is more, I can say, mystical. And hello, Poe as well. So no see you. So in the game, he fought for that right away. Knight f3. Boom. Text. Text. And knight one d2. You know, the pawn go on away. The pawn go on away from c7, c5. Tech. Right? And now it's over. It's over right now. This is next. Nothing you can defend it, nothing you can defend against us. And that is the game. Right? Any question? Any question from the game here that you doesn't feel so good enough? Or do you understand my explanation and my analysis? Okay, so one second, let me try. I mean, I want to go for the okay. 18 depth is not really de deep, actually, enough, but okay, my friend, thank you for that. Hopefully, you enjoy. Hopefully, you enjoy the explanation. I will try to it look like upload it to YouTube later so you guys can follow my YouTube and you know, watch that to understand more if you want to. Okay, so not really, not okay. What a second. Why I see this number again though? But okay, I mean like almost 99%. That is brutal, right? That's brutal. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoy my game and I will see you later.